Hi, this is Leah, and I want to talk about a simple way to differentiate in your classroom with a Google Forms add-on called Auto Mastery. So first, I'm going to just Google Auto Mastery, and I'm going to click on it in the Chrome store, and I'm going to get it for free, and it's going to automatically open a Google Form for me. And I want to upload it. I want to upload Auto Mastery, and it's new. So it's not yet verified by the forms or the Chrome store, but that's okay. I'm going to get it anyway because it's safe, I promise. And there it is. Now I have it. So what you're going to want to do once you have it is set up a formative assessment for your students. And I'm just doing a sample one here uh, full of very important questions. Uh, we all remember, at least, you know, people who've been teaching for as long as I have remember the days that you would differentiate, but it would require a lot of paper, a lot of legwork, and it was really tedious for the teacher. Differentiation is always worth it, but um, what I really like about Auto Mastery is that it makes the entire process seamless. You give your students a formative assessment in forms. Um, you set it as a quiz, it's automatically scored, and then assignments based on the scores they get are pushed out to them through email. Uh, students can then do those assignments and they don't even necessarily know that they're all doing different assignments. So that's really cool for privacy um, and for ease. So here's my, here's my sample uh, formative assessment. I'm gonna go to settings, and I want to collect email addresses. So I'm going to click that. I want to limit it to one response and I want to make it a quiz so I can set up an answer key and um, give students feedback. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go into auto mastery. And so I click on it and I want to configure. And here it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the mastery score and the beginner score. And when I do that, it is automatically going to set the intermediate score for me. So there are three levels that it automatically differentiates. I'm going to put the links for the different assignments that are going to get pushed out to the students based on their scores. And I want to make sure that I fill out the key and the point value for each one so that the answers are graded appropriately um, since I set it up as a quiz in forms. So that's going to make it super simple. Uh, I want to go to this and I want to make sure that the quiz, uh, that the people who take the quiz, the students, are getting um, the answers. I can be emailed to, I generally don't check that because then my inbox gets inundated. I can check on their responses, however. I want to make sure I save it. Uh, and then I want to grab the link and I'm going to share that link in Google Classroom or Blackboard or Edmodo or whatever it is I use. All right, so what I did this for recently is a final exam review here at the end of the year. And it's a diagnostic test that goes back and um, refreshes students over what they've learned and sees what um, they remember and what they don't. And if they get the mastery score, they get this in their assignment, um, in their email, basically just saying, hey, review, good luck, you did well. Uh, if they're intermediate, they're going to have to retake the quiz after they do this assignment for me. They're going to go through their notebook. They're going to summarize each unit for the semester, um, write the most difficult question and answer from their study guide and what they think the most important vocab word is. So it just basically gets them to review in a really kind of broad way because they they intermediate need to go back over it, but they don't need what the beginners need, which is this. Um, I took some task cards that I have and I digitized them really quickly. Uh, they're going to have to retake the quiz when they finish this. But if you look at this, this is 
a really guided review and students type in their answers, they drag and drop their answers, and up at the top of each task card, I have the unit where they can find the information that they need. So it's right there, unit five. Um, and it goes all the way through unit 10 for my exam. And so this is you know, the extra push, the extra help that the students who scored below a 70 need. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about auto mastery. It's been a genuine game changer in my classroom, and I hope that it's one in yours. You can find me at leahcleary.com and toolsforteachingteens.com.